Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this tumbler right here, which is the Milk Bath Tumbler. Now, this technique, this design right here, kind of trended and went popular, I want to say about two years ago, and it is something that I have been wanting to do, wanting to try to perfect because I absolutely love this style and I think it would be perfect for Mother's Day. So I went ahead and did it and now I am ready to show the world my process. So I know there are a lot of videos out there on how to create this cup, but hopefully I share with you some new ways to create it. I did do a glitter based layer and you know, I feel like my technique may be a little bit different. So if you're interested in seeing how I created my version of the milk bath tumbler, then keep on watching. So first thing we're going to do is start by prepping the base of our tumbler. I'm going to do that by taking a sanding block, scuffing up the base, and then I'm going to wipe it clean with 91% alcohol. Once that's nice and dry, I'm going to take it outside and prime it using my white priming color shop spray paint. Now, I wanted to mix a few different glitters that I had in on hand. And so I'm taking four different kinds of glitters and we're going to make a custom mix for today's cup. The first glitter you see me pouring is called Princesa. The second one coming up is called Ice Queen and it is in a regular cut and so beautiful. So I'm going to just pour a little bit of that in there as well. The third glitter I'm going to use in my mix is called Daydream and it's another irregular cut. And then the last one coming up is called Bright and this is an irregular flake and it is more on the end of a mica powder and not a glitter. So I'm going to mix some in there and then I'm going to add more of that Princesa and I'm going to mix it all up. Now you don't have to go the route that I went and mixed up all these different colors because any opal will be beautiful as the base but I really wanted to take it up a notch and get just a really high shine opal mix to put on my cup. So I'm going to mix up my resin now and I'm using the counterculture DIY facet. I'm going to mix a little bit of that and I'm going to use about 5 mLs to coat the entire base of my cup and once I've coated the entire base I'm going to go and just take that custom mix and I'm going to sprinkle it all over the entire base of my cup. Now, because we are using a chunky mix here with all the irregular flakes and the mica powders, you can see just how high shine this mix is, and I absolutely love it. But because it is so big and has a lot of flakes, we are going to have to roll it down just to kind of flatten all these pieces. And you will see here in a minute how I do that. So as you can see, I'm just taking my tumbler and I'm just rolling it on the piece of paper that that I have here and you can see just how nicely it is keeping all that glitter flat and I do that immediately after um, pouring my glitter on top of that wet resin and then I go ahead and just let that cure once that is cure I'm going to take another 30 mls of facet resin and I'm going to spread that evenly all over the base of my cup and we're going to just make sure that we have a nice good coat now we don't want it to be moving around too too much you want to make sure that you have a nice even coat to kind of soak the glitter but before we let it cure we're going to start adding our florals so i'm going to show you guys some of the florals that i got on amazon i will have them linked in the description down below and I'm going to just start with the blue flowers pack that I have here. And I am adding them directly to the resin. Now, my idea here was to put them down in a swirl because I knew that I wanted to put like a phrase or a name on this cup. And I didn't want to just scatter the flowers all over the place. So I'm being pretty precise where I want, you know, with where I'm putting down my flowers because I I know that I want them in a like a swirl pattern so I'm using these blue flowers and I'm just taking my finger and I'm putting them down on the uh, on the cup and I'm just using my finger to kind of place them onto that wet resin now because we are using the fast set it is going to start curing a lot quicker than a regular setting resin and I would really only recommend for you to do this over a fast set resin because if you use regular resin, you might have a lot of movement and your flowers are not going are likely not going to stay where you put them 
because the resin is going to take longer to cure. But when you're going in with facet resin, it's already thick. It's already starting to get warm. So wherever you put your flowers down, that's where it's going to stay. So I've opened up another pack that has a lot of these little purple flowers. And I'm just doing the same kind of thing where I'm picking them up with my finger and I'm tapping it into the resin. And I'm actually coating the top of the flowers as well. So I'm using my finger to push it into the resin. And because the resin is wet, it's still stays a little bit on my finger and then I'm using my finger to kind of tap it into that resin as well as coat the top of the flowers itself if that makes any sense. You can see here exactly what I'm doing. I've opened up another pack with some darker pink flowers and some of these flowers are a little bit delicate so just be careful with how you're putting them down and yeah I'm just going in with the pack of flowers that I have and I'm just scattering all of them around. Now I'm taking more of these green leafy um, little pieces of uh, leaves that we have here and I'm going to just push those down. I'm putting about three of them on the cup and once I'm happy with how they're laid out then I'm going to put like one more on here then we'll just let the entire cup cure with the flowers on there um, and then once that's already cured up then we're going to go in with an, a top coat of clear regular resin. You'll see that here in a minute. So once I'm done putting down my flowers, I'm happy with how they look. I'm just kind of like filling in any spaces that I feel like need to be filled with some flowers. And yeah, now it's cured up. So now that it's nice and cured, I'm going in with another 30 mLs of that facet resin and I'm going to just apply that all over the base. Now this is just a regular mixture of resin. I haven't added anything in this yet, but we will be adding some mica powders and I will be adding some uh, dispersion colors to get that milky kind of finish that we're looking for once we have a nice top coat on here. So we're going to let that cure all the way. And now it is time to start mixing up uh, two more cups of resin. So I'm going to be doing a mixture, one with regular resin. Sorry, I'm using facet for this as well. But what I mean by regular resin is nothing in it. And then the other cup, I'm going to add a pearlescent white mica powder. And then I'm also going to be adding a dispersion color, white dispersion color into it as well. And don't forget that everything I'm using in this video will be listed and linked in the description down below. So if you want to check out anything, um, you can check out the description for all details. So I'm taking that second cup and I'm mixed in the uh, pearlescent mica powder and i'm just stringing that around the cup so that i can kind of mix that in now that is just adding like a little bit of a shimmer on top of the flowers and then i'm going to be putting in like two to three drops of that white dispersion color and i'm going to apply that onto the cup diagonally in kind of like how you're doing a regular swirl or a milky way and the reason why i'm doing this is because we're doing a milk bath tumbler i want it to look milky i want it to have swirls in it and i want it to look like there's a lot of movement if you look at pictures on the internet or you look up pictures on pinterest on milk bath you're gonna see that some of the florals or on top of the bath some of the florals are underneath some look like they're kind of peeking through and that's kind of like what I was going for with this cup I wanted some of the flowers to you know be um, peeking through not completely underneath that milky texture that we're creating here but also you know kind of like a normal like a picture you know would look like of a milk bath basically um so i did go in with some more of that clear resin i kind of just strung it around and then i'm just using my finger to just create these random like swirls you know i think this part is really like no rhyme or reason just go in and have fun with it and this is a little bit of a close-up of how it looked and we're gonna let that cure and now that it is cured, we're going to go in and we're going to sand down. We're also going to clean off the top of the cup. This is where I'm going to go in with my blade and I'm going to just clean off any of that excess resin that's going to be at the top of my cup. So once I'm done there, I'm going to go in with a 60 grit sanding block and I'm really going to make sure that the rim of my cup is nice and smooth and there isn't any resin like going over the rim. So you really want to make sure that you've got that rim sanded down really nicely so that when we put our top coats of resin, it has something to stick to and you don't really want any of that resin on top of the rim, right? So we're also going to go and we're going to start sanding down the base to get rid of any of those pokey bits. You don't want any pokiness or anything like that 
so get it as smooth as you can and then we're going to wash it off with soap and water dry it off and then we're gonna go and move on to the next step which is applying our decal Okay, so we're moving over to Creative Fabrica because I wanted to show you guys how many amazing fonts they have here. Now, you guys can see that there are so many fonts. There's over 127,000 fonts available on Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and I'm going to try to look and see which one I want. Now, I'm going to be going for a mother's mama kind of um, text that I want to use. So I went and I chose the font called Welcome because they have like those nice little flowy ends and I really liked it that especially since we're doing a flowy tumbler so I went ahead and downloaded it to my computer I like to download the TTF version of the font so I'm going to go ahead and click that welcome TTF it's going to open up and show you a preview of what the font looks like so we're going to go ahead and install that into the computer and once we've installed it we're going to open up Cricut Design Space once you're in Cricut Design Space you're going to hit that text button to the left and we're going to start searching in our system which is the font you know where the font is saved and i typed in welcome and there you go uh, it's popped up i also booked mark it for later and now i'm just going to type in my text which is a simple mama now as you can see when i initially typed in the word mama we didn't have any of those flowing areas so i went back to the installation on my computer to go search for the code for the end of the letter so i went into the tab and i copied the code for the a with the little flowing lines you can see i'm looking now for the m once i found it I double clicked on it there's a little code you can copy you're gonna highlight the letter and you're gonna paste that code right into there and it's gonna change those letters to have the little flowy end that i like so now i'm gonna resize the text and i'm going to weld it so that it cuts all in one and i'm also going to add an offset so i've highlighted the text i've clicked that offset button and i resize it so that it's just slightly larger than my font now we've cut it out on my Cricut and I use the white vinyl for my offset and this really beautiful petal pink from Tech Wrap. Now I'm going to just weed out those letters and I'm going to actually apply my pink vinyl on top of my white vinyl before applying it to the cup. Sometimes I do it different. Sometimes I'll apply the offset to the cup and then I'll go in and just apply the top final but this time I'm going to layer it first and then apply it to the cup. So now I'm going to just remove that decal from my Cricut mat and I'm going to apply it to the cup. Now I already have a space there where I'm going to apply my decal because I already knew that I was going to put it on the cup in a swirl. I already had a design in mind so I'm just going to apply that decal right to my cup and I'm going to just smooth it out with my fingers and then remove the transfer sheet. Now, because I've been touching up the vinyl and touching up the cup, I'm going to just wipe it clean with 91% alcohol just to remove any oils that may be on the cup. Sometimes if you don't clean off the cup before, it will give you fish eyes. So you want to make sure that you are wiping it clean, especially after you applied your decals. And now I've mixed up 30 mLs of that fast set resin and I'm going right on top of that decal and I'm smoothing it out all over the base of my cup so that we can go ahead and let that cure. And then our final coat is going to be with Counterculture DIY Artist Resin. Once you're done applying both coats, you're going to want to let it cure for a full 24 hours and then you are done with your cup. And this is what the cup looks like while it's spinning. I did go ahead and torch it and let's check it out and see what it looks like now that it's completely done. That is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know how you felt about this video in the comment section down below. And if you really liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Make sure to check out the description for more details and all the links to everything that I use in today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Love ya!